Hey guys, welcome to game three between Hoender and Hoff. Fellow clock location, we have Hoff, one more series. Nine o'clock location, we have Hoender. This is on Gold Rush, which I think is a BSL exclusive map. Don't quote me on that. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on the last match. Uh, chat has been chiming in on it. There are there were superior Dragoon forces, but I still, and Hoender would have been at a disadvantage with those Dragoons pressing. I do want to comment on that. He would have had to pull probes off the line, which was going to cost mining time. But I don't feel like the game was lost at that stage, I guess is what I'm getting at. I feel like it could have still been pressed out. And I'm wondering if that was just micro or having to pull those probes off the line cost enough minerals where he wasn't able to get the additional Dragoons. Anyway, I want to hear your guys' comments. And that actually, yeah, instead of doing the like, comment, subscribe thing, actually have a... Instead of just randomly saying stuff in chat, have a interesting discussion about the previous match uh, in chat. And also comments on YouTube if you guys are watching this on YouTube. Eventually I'm going to get the YouTube live streaming thing working, but debating how... If anybody has any experience with uh, Streamlabs Prime, let me know. I'm still figuring out the entire Twitch chat thing. Part of it is, is I just haven't... I've tried to put my time and energy to producing these and doing a handful of other things like parenting. <laughs> Gateway from both players. And taking care of other things that need to be taken care of rather than uh, diving, uh, just making everything nice and shiny. Um, for Oh, this is another one of those maps. You know what this reminds me of? Was it Colosseum back in the day? Where when you have these two assimilators like this, I think it's a ghost that can fit through them. And nothing else. And it actually, yeah. Anyway, assimilator plopped down there. Oh, and there's still no assimilator. He's going to opt for two gate. Or sorry, Hoff opting for two gate. Opener, so more zealot pressure on the front. And this is two gate before pylon, so more aggression. And we'll need to get something done with the, that aggression. Fortunately, Hoff is going to be scouting clockwise, so going to get the scout on Hoender late. Cybernetic score for Hoender. And I think Hoender... I'm going to give Hoender the potential build order advantage plus scouting advantage plus uh, generalized advantage overall. We will see. I'm unsure... I'm unsure. Overall, there is a single zealot being. This is the thing: you get that single zealot, you plop it on the front. You have the dragoons to follow. Usually, that is enough to defend. Single zealot blockading for Hoff, just in case that probe scout. Yeah, here's this probe scout was meandering, making its way around. Still no gas critically for Hoff, which will also be a significant um, tech deficit. The one critical thing, though, is. This information will not be revealed as far as the build order that's going up, but this should put Hoender... I don't think that's going to make Hoender do anything different overall. And right now, yeah, it's like a little bit of delayed... Honestly, I feel like just pull that probe off, right? Three Zealots making their way across. There's the Dragoon to follow, and the Zealot plus Dragoons plus probes pulling off can defend that ramp. And again, yeah, that probe sneaking back around is going to be able to go back in. Critically see that this assimilator is coming up fairly late and also see that there are no probes there. So this is going to be continued... I assume this is going to be a continued dedication. Nope, never mind. Three probes delayed. Oh, they're not mining. Misclicked by Hoff. I think Hoff's playing a little bit nervous. They're, they're getting them in. Dragoon uh, shield battery, actually. A little bit of the back corner rather than the forward corner. But here, yeah, the probe... This should be a solid defense. Oh, Zealot walking by, though. And providing some room for... That was a big misstep from Hoender. Maybe also playing a bit nervously. So that's going to be some probe kills. But let's see if this front falls. In the meantime, this is going to be a Zealot and a probe. And it doesn't look like Hoender was able to micro there as well. Second Dragoon out. Should be able to take out that Zealot. So a little bit lucky on Hoender that things did not end up more disastrous than they could have been. I feel like that was a odd statement. So yeah, the Zealot's getting cleaned up. So that's 300 resources wiped out. Hoender with map control, with superior supply count. Actually, even supply count. But Hoender in a good position is basically what I'm trying to say. He's got that tech. He got that tech. Also cutting... This is clever. So cutting probes here so that he can go ahead and get that nexus down a little bit faster. Knowing that he has the superior army. Hoff plopping down a third gateway. So now it is up to Hoff to do something to get back in this match. And this is going to be, yeah, it's an uphill battle for, from here from Hoff. I feel like a lot of this match has been uphill battle. A lot of these matches have been uphill battles for Hoff, unfortunately. Um, Cybernetics Core spinning to go ahead and get that range upgrade that's three units out, but this is still... An, actually, so Hoender thinking better of it upon seeing that gateway and seeing that spinning. Instead, he's going to go for Citadel of Adun upon seeing this, popping down additional gateway. So 
feeling that, okay, with three gateways up and range spinning, I know I'm getting, that was a nice adjustment, knowing, okay, maybe I'm gonna get overrun. So instead opting to get more Dragoons down to defend his front, plopping down additional gateways, and then he might be able to cycle into gate, wow, and DT tech, and now Hoff, wow, it's like one thing happens where it works in Hoff's favor, and then it swings right back around. So Hoff planting, canceling that, planting a Nexus, getting a robotic facility. Oh, well, actually, I take it back. Everything's okay. I'm, I'm calling things too early here, guys. There's the Templar Archives, but here's the robotic facility. So if the Observatory is planted down, or if we see a defensive cannon, and if, if Hoff can move forward in a press position, I don't know, with a probe or something, maybe see that Shimmer, that DT might not be enough uh, for Hoender to swing this match. Homender getting the one big advantage here is range is now finished for Hoff. Range is severely de delayed for Homender comparatively. But with that high ground mischance, um, wouldn't have made a difference if Hoff was pressing here. That's not what's happening anyway. So I won't speculate on that. But we are going to see at least ADT produced. Now, here's the critical thing do we see the observatory? There's the observatory. So I think Hoff now. As I've said it this entire time, where I'm like, ah, I feel like there's been things where Hoff has stumbled into disadvantages a lot. 2DTs, as long as Hoff keeps these Dragoons on the front, and as long as this Observer catches this DT, Hoff should have the overall advantage. About three probes behind, but that's okay. I think Hoender is going to try to pull, you know, just maneuver here. We're going to go out with this army, um, maybe establish the Nexus while those DTs go out and establish map control. It is possible he'll just move out with this entire army, but I would not expect that to be the case um, without, I don't know, an additional gateway. So I think we're still going to see... Oh, and that probe, I think that probe saw the Shimmer. Hopefully it saw the Shimmer. Shimmer, Shimmer, Shine. So, let's see, yeah, additional gateway, let's see what this where this Observer goes. Does it just plant on the front? The Dragoons are spread to provide that defensive cusp. Yeah, okay, I think Hoff saw it. So these DTs, we'll see, maybe some micromanagement can make this happen. Shield battery on the front, upon seeing that Nexus. So expecting more, again, upon seeing that, I think that's the right call, almost taking that DT out. So now it is back to Hoender, what does he do to respond, knowing that the Dark Templar weren't able to get anything done. And it looks like his answer is to go ahead and get Zealot leg speed, plant the additional gateway, and Try to follow this up with overwhelming force. Unfortunately, Hoff already has four gateways up. And we'll see if we see an, a, a pause on... We don't see a pause on units being built. So it's going to come down to micromanagement. The one thing is, with a whole bunch of zealots out here, um, pressing Hoff on the front door. This is kind of... It's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't thing that I think Hollander is trying to work with. With that zealot... These Dragoons have to stay back because of that DT, right? But at the same time, those Zealots plus the leg speed in this kind of enclosed area, they can get on top of those Dragoons very rapidly, and they will chew through those Dragoons like nobody's business. So, once that Zealot leg speed's upgraded, if he can get on the front, he does have an opportunity to win this match. Especially because this is very Dragoon heavy. And I think it's been mostly Dragoons that are being produced. And double shield battery. Double shield battery might be the difference. But it's also giving less leeway, less room for Hoff to be able to retreat against just a significant amount of Zealots that are going to be able to unload a lot of damage very rapidly. So it'll come down to micro and maybe a little bit of luck. We'll see. I like this, this follow-up build, though, from Hoender. Staging up. A gateway blockade. I like this. Keep in mind, for Hoender and the opposite... Oh, actually completely sealing the front door. Upon I, So the Observer saw those Zealots, so completely sealing this to make sure those Zealots have to come through just a little bit at a time. Great play. And can even cancel those after the fact. Nice! On Hoff's part. Nice. Hoender, yeah, is sealed out. Great adjustment by Hoff. Gateway's down, but I think that was enough. We'll see. Two Observers out on the front. The Zealots getting peeled off. There's plenty of Zealots here. Plus the coast reinforcement location. I think once this army is peeled out, that will be GG from Hollander. We'll see. So good idea, but the observer caught it. Yes, well played. Well played by Hoff. 
So Hoender, unfortunately, will be eliminated. We will see Hoff in the winner's match, and I will cast the winner's match next. Great adjustment from Hoff. And that's the thing, watching Hoff this entire time is just like, man, I just feel like Hoff um, in a lot of places in this matchup is just getting, I don't know, bad luck with build orders and things. And instead, pulling out this match through some nice play. Heads up play, even. I think that might just be the nerves even smoothing out. So we'll, get, we'll move on to the next match. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks for listening.